Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about my life at CMU. So to give you guys a little bit of a background, I am a math major and my concentration is applied and computational math. So it's a bachelor's of science and I intend to do a minor in computer science. I'm also on the CMU women's tennis team. So I'm born and brought up in India. So this was the first time I'd ever been to the US. And it was a really dis different experience because I was like learning to be completely independent for the first time. And yeah, I was like really far away from home. And I was away from home for like 10 months straight. And I think the longest I'd been away from home before this was like two weeks. So it was a really different experience. So freshman year, let's get started. Almost all schools have this thing called O-Week, which is Orientation Week, uh, and it's for freshmen, and it's one week before college actually starts, and I think that was the most fun I had in the entire We had house wars where everyone in my dorm dressed in blue, and we had a lot of fun games and events. We also had dorm get-togethers, and then, depending on your major, they take you to a different type of museum, so we went to the Carnegie Science Museum, and they had this really cool robot that could shoot hoops almost each time and they had this robot that could beat you at air hockey we didn't have classes and they had a lot of events but things got a lot busier once classes started all freshmen had to live on campus um and then after your freshman year you can decide if you want to move off campus lucky enough to be assigned to a residence which was very central to campus which i really appreciate because I'm on tennis team so the courts were like really close to my dorm and it was my dorm was pretty much in, in the middle of campus so it was close to everything. I bring a bunch of posters so that's what my wall looked like. So food, um, so for freshmen they make you take like this really large meal plan which is like I think 205 meals and 850 dynex dollars and in the first semester I think I and they expire after each semester. They don't roll over. So I think after, after the first semester, I, I had like 60 or 70 meal blocks left. It was honestly such a waste. So in the next semester, I got in touch with these upperclassmen and I sold like, I sold a lot of, I think 70 or 80 of my meal blocks. So yeah. I think the Pura CMU is pretty good. They have a lot of options and they have like Asian food, Indian food, which I really liked. Um, soups, salads, pasta. So yeah. So fall semester, the courses I took, I took two math courses, one CS course. There was one course that was required for all sciences majors. And then there was one um, gened. Midway through the semester, I dropped the CS course I was taking just because I found it a little bit overwhelming. And since it was my first semester, I didn't want it to be, I didn't want to be too hard on myself. So I was at 49 units before I dropped it and then I dropped it, I was at 37 and then I took another three unit course. So I was at 40 units for the fall semester um, and you need to average like 45 to graduate. My favorite course in the fall was 21128, uh, Mathematical Concepts and Proofs, which was discrete math. And I remember while taking that course, I was really, ha I was glad I took it because I, I realized I genuinely was really enjoying math. It's a pretty well-known course at CMU for math and CS majors uh, and also we had a really good professor, Professor John Mackey. Uh, he also mentioned my name in class because he appreciated that I was a student athlete doing math. So CMU got cupcake to do a concert. Enough said. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. We'd also often have tennis team dinners. And the tennis team did pumpkin carving for Halloween. And I think I was one of the only ones who wore a Halloween costume. I'm supposed to be a warrior princess here. Also, the tennis season is mostly in the spring. We did have tournaments in the beginning of the fall semester. But towards the end, it was um, completely like we didn't have any tennis at all. But I did play a lot of tennis with my friends on the club tennis team. And on the tennis team so yeah i thought it was really relaxing to play tennis amidst all the stress
so i had a good fall semester i didn't think it was stressful but i had a good time at cmu so after fall for winter i was actually supposed to come back to india but my flight got cancelled so when my dad tried to book it again the prices were through the roof so i actually decided to stay back in california for winter break and i think i was there for a little bit more than a month honestly i think one of the main things i wanted to do during winter break was to study for the course that i dropped in the fall and study i did so i emailed the professors of the courses i was taking in the spring semester and i asked them to send me stuff that i should i could start studying in the winter like it wasn't just for my cs course it was also for my math courses and they did and i think it really helped so there's a few reasons i really wanted to study during the winter break um one was because i was taking a higher course load to make up for the course i dropped in the fall semester so i was taking 50 units in the spring uh, also we have our tennis season in the spring so we were expected to travel pretty much every weekend during the spring semester uh, and then i also thought it was a pretty productive way of spending my time during winter break because especially if it was going to help me during the spring semester I also spent time working on my fitness, playing tennis, and spending time with my family and little cousin brothers. The first two weeks of the spring semester were remote because of COVID, so I did them from California. It was funny because the time difference usually meant that my first class would start at 5 a.m. So after those two weeks, I went back to Pittsburgh, and then the very same weekend, I had a match. I was playing singles, and it was the second game of the match, so it had just started, and. Then I fell. It hurt pretty bad. I remember I was yelling on court because I couldn't remember the last time something hurt me that much. And then I took my shoe off, and turns out it's my foot was completely swollen. Uh, my coach taped it up, but it still hurt a lot. But then uh, somehow I finished the match. I don't know how or why. So after the match, which I obviously lost, my friends helped me get back to my dorm, and I knew I had to get it checked because. It hurt so much I could barely walk, and I wasn't sure how I was gonna get to classes the next day. I took an Uber to the hospital, so they gave me crutches, and turns out my sprain was a grade three sprain, so I was not gonna be able to play for six to eight weeks. So that's what my ankle looked like, and that's me in crutches. That's the only picture I have. So this was just great. <laughs> Moving on. So this semester I had two math classes, uh, one CS class, one writing class, which was required for all freshmen, and then there was one Gen Ed. So I think my favorite class was the CS course, even though it had like a seventeen hour per week um commit time commitment, but I thought it was really fun, and I thought I learned a lot. Also like my linear algebra class. I thought the spring semester honestly was pretty hard. I was averaging about six or seven hours of studying a day, and then when we had tennis, it was another, I would say, twelve, thirteen hours. It's helped me grow a lot, and I really did enjoy it. Here we go again. <laughs> CMU also had this really nice cruise event that we went on and I thought it was honestly really nice. Oh, and we also had Holi and tennis team get-togethers. So yeah, that was me trying to summarize my first year at CMU into a 10-minute video. I'm not sure how much grades matter, but I had all A's and B's and I had one C, but that's okay. <laughs> I thought my first year at CME was really hard. It was stressful, but I do know that I've grown so much as a person. And I'm very grateful to be at CMU. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll also be posting more often because I'm in summer break. So yeah, you know that you'll like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.